Liam, welcome to Kilmarnock. How does it feel to be here? Uh, it feels really good. Um, I'm just happy to, to be here and to get some minutes under under, under some first team football and, and I'm really looking forward to my time here. How would you describe yourself as a player? Uh, I'd probably say um, I'm quite a quick kind of player. You know, I'm I'm quite quick as I would probably say. Um, but yeah, um, I'm good with the ball, my feet running behind. Um, I, I, I think I could be a big help to this team if I could use my assets correctly. So. 19 goals for Liverpool's academy this season, that's uh, a pretty good record. Yeah, yeah, it's not too bad, mate, you know what I mean? But uh, I'm just looking forward to coming out here and proving that I can do that in men's football as well, not just academy football. What have you learned in your experiences with Liverpool so far in your career that, that can help you here at Kilmarnock? Well, I think, you know, just kind of like the professional environment they have at Liverpool, obviously. Uh, building good habits and stuff like that um, that they all teach you going out through the academy will uh, be a big help you know going into men's football because you know it's pretty much all about habits and all that kind of stuff so I think um, it's really really helpful what they do at Liverpool to get you ready for the men's football. A lot of the work as you mentioned there will have been done with Liverpool's academy um, what can you tell us about your kind of interactions with, with kind of Liverpool's top players and, and how that's helped? Um, well, yeah, I've trained at Melwood a couple of times um, here and there. Um, you know, just training with them is always a pleasure as well. You know, got probably the best front three in the world at the moment with uh, with Salah, Mane, Firmino, um, and uh, you know, you can learn so much off them, especially you know, like probably more like Firmino or or like uh, Salah, who play kind of more like my kind of role and uh, like kind of pressing and running it behind and stuff like that. So you know, you can learn a lot off them. I think they're really good mentors for me. And Kind of brief interactions with Jurgen Klopp, what, what has he said about your kid development and his hopes for your time here? Well, I think I, I think he just wants me to get some first team minutes and you know be ready if I ever have to train there or get thrown in. Like I kind of like I'm used to the environment and uh, stuff like that. So I'm um, I'm guessing he uh, he's really looking forward to this moment for me. And what about uh, Steve Clark? What, what has he said to you about his hope for you and your time? Well, I think that he just wants me to, to be relaxed and not be stressed out about you know having to do well because it's my first loan and uh, being really overly excited, you know what I mean? Like just kind of like relax and kind of just playing my game um, and stuff like that. So I think uh, that was really helpful hearing that from him, just be, like the same, just to be relaxed and stuff. So. And you've had some interaction with some big figures in Scottish football, like sort of Scott Arfield and David Wotherspoon that will be in the Canadian men's set-up. Uh, have you had the chance to, to catch up with them yet, or do you plan to, to speak to them? <laughs> well, I, I haven't spoke to, to Scott or, uh, or Spoonie yet, but uh, I spoke to Marcus uh, Godinho, who uh, we had, I think we're actually playing tonight. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's, uh, I spoke to him a little bit about it, and you know, he was buzzing for me because uh, he's quite a close friend of mine. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's good that we're all here. Um, Shows uh, how much Canadian football is improving with the with the league and how much like people we have in in European sides and stuff. So um, I think uh, I think we have a really good chance. I think.